Hello there, welcome to the Media Coach video tip. Our normal format, what's become normal these days, showing you a book, talking to you about a speech to watch, and then a little tip to help you with your speaking. So firstly, the book. Today's book, this week's book, is Hegarty on Creativity. Uh, it's a wonderful little book. It's uh, obviously about, if you know anything about Hegarty, uh, you'll know he was in advertising. And, but, but very simple, easy to read, uh, some great tips, but all about stimulating your creativity, things that you can think about, things that you can do to become more creative. It's uh, literally a slim volume. Today you can grab it on Kindle. Um, you can get a real physical copy like this, which I quite like. But uh, I've read this book probably a dozen times now and always get some great ideas from it. So there we are, Hegarty on creativity to make your speeches more creative. And creativity is obviously today's theme because the speech that I'd like you to have a look at is a TED speech by Sir Ken Robinson. It's a speech I often recommend when I'm working with clients, helping them with their speaking. I always ask them to watch the speech and we work through the first few minutes. Sir Ken Robinson's thesis, the story of the speech is, do schools kill creativity? And he thinks they do. And I kind of agree with him, even though I'm the governor of a couple of schools, I think there's more we could do to bring in creativity. And, and in the schools where I'm a governor, uh, the heads both do that, which is great. The speech itself was delivered in Monterey in California quite some years ago now, I think probably more than 10 years ago now. And it's one of the most watched TED speeches ever. I think it's brilliantly delivered. Great humour, great message, some real connection with the audience. And if you just watch the speech for a couple of minutes, I'll give you the link, obviously, to have a look at. Just watch it how Ken Robinson comes out on stage, connects with the audience immediately, uses a bit of dry, self-deprecating humour, but then goes on to deliver a really telling message about schools and creativity. So absolutely superb. The third thing is the tip. No surprise at all. It's going to be about creativity. I know it's difficult these days to get outside. Today is a beautiful sunny day and it's, it's good to get outside. If you can get outside, well, I hope you can, go for a walk or, or whatever you can, maybe even just to saunter up the shops and stand in that queue two metres apart. Take a notebook with you or take your phone with you that you can make notes on or perhaps use a voice recorder on your phone. And just whatever your thoughts are, whatever comes to mind, just record them, note them down. A little tip when you're using a notebook, I use lots and lots of notebooks, and I go through them quite often and I just fill a topic on each page. So if I've got a speech about various issues or a speech in a various, various places, I just go and note those topics on random pages through the book. And then when I get a chance to go out for a bit of exercise or a walk and I get a, a chance to stop for a break, I open the book at a random page and I look at whatever's written on the page and I think, what does that remind me of? I have a look round, I have a think, what have I been thinking? What have I been seeing? And I just jot something down. And these are just random thoughts. But that's how creativity works. It's sticking random thoughts together. So whenever you get the chance, and if you can't get out and exercise, you can maybe just sit quietly with your favourite beverage, whatever that happens to be. Take yourself a little bit of time, maybe even listen to some music, and then what comes to mind? Jot that down. And you'll find when you go back to that book and you look at those things, you'll suddenly think, now there's a great idea. There's a great story. So today's all about creativity. Hegarty on creativity. Sir Ken Robinson on creativity and you on creativity when you get the chance to take a break. I wish you the very best of luck.